Behold a great priest who in his days pleased God and was found just. There was not found the like to him who kept the law of the Most High. Hello, my friends, and welcome to True Heroes. Today we are going to talk very briefly about St. Ubald, a bishop of Umbria. I say very briefly because there doesn't seem to be much about him. So it is what it is. Let us begin his story. Eubald Baldassini was born in 1084 of a noble family in Gubbio, Italy. He was orphaned in his youth and was educated by his uncle, the Bishop of Gubbio. Eubald himself was ordained and named a deacon of the cathedral and also reformed the canons and then left a few years later to become a hermit. He was dissuaded from this life as a hermit by Peter of Rimini and returned to Gubbio and in 1126 was named Bishop of Perugia but refused the position. Two years later in 1128 he became Bishop of Gubbio. He truly believed that one must lead by example and that the only way that his faithful would have the grace to practice the virtues is if he himself made them the foundation of his life. Even as a bishop in high authority, he lived very meagerly and avoided anything that would even look like vice or something that could be interpreted as sinful. Whatever he taught to the faithful of his diocese, he applied very strictly to himself. Therefore, every virtue was shown brightly throughout his life. This virtue gave him strong powers against the demons. He was known for the efficacy of his exorcisms, and there was no demon that could refuse his command to leave. He took our Lord's advice regarding demons to heart. Quote, This kind of demon is not cast out but by prayer and fasting. Unquote. That's the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Other than that, we do not know really anything else about him. He was ill for the last two years of his life and died in Gubbio on May 16, 1160 and was canonized in 1192. From the life of St. Ubald, let us learn to lead by example and realize that doing so will help others practice virtue for God's honor and glory. Let us pray to him that he may help us in the battle against our demons. We all have specific temptations. We all have specific weaknesses. And these weaknesses can only be conquered by prayer and fasting. So let us ask him today to give us that strength to fight against our many sinful inclinations. Thank you all so much for joining me. Tomorrow is the Feast of St. Paschal Balon, the patron of all Eucharistic Congresses and institutions, known especially for his devotion to the Holy Eucharist. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. St. Eubald, pray for us.